My question to lead that because we know that stems has a record of poor in Cambodia, but what are the factors making that uh, STEM education poor? Uh, it's really like uh, when we know there is something new and we introduce it into the, the class or to the community, uh, they gonna, it's going to take some time for them to uh, get used to that and familiar to uh, like what is it and how it works, uh, how it benefits to the future and so on. So uh, uh, talking to, to this point about how, uh, what are the factors that uh, make STEM education kind of not really growing fast. I think because, uh, first of all, we are, we, we are kind of just adapting to the new um, um, STEM field, and especially when we just, um, I mean, grow past the civil war and also kind of, um, the, I mean, the another level of uh, ec economic income. Um, so when we introduce them to them, it's like another new, uh, new topics. And um, I think the reason why we, uh, it's kind of limited, not because of the speed, but maybe because of the, uh, the time that we just introduced them. So if we, if we like, let's just say that uh, we have the, con the festival, the Cambodia Sci and Engineering Festival in Phnom Penh and so on, but if we want to do it in other provinces as well, uh, we really need the human resource, I mean, the kind of the people who have to spread out the word to the uh, remote area so that they can hear, so and they can see, and they can experience, or also test it out. Um, so coming back, I think uh, there are several, several reasons. Um, so uh, first of all, the, the government, uh, the, I mean, the policy level, they, they, they see the importance of it, and they try to push it. But the thing is how the people at the implementation stage and uh, the ground level can really move fast, move fast enough to adapt it and uh, introduce it to the student uh, in the rural area. Uh, and also the communication, because um, there are so many things happening around uh, us uh, right now, so it really hard to catch up with what is right, what is wrong, and what is the good path to go. Um, so when the education, education, in, when the education industry is kind of uh, finding the way uh, to give the maximum learning, um, learning knowledge to the student, there is, there is not yet a standard, a global standard, uh, kind of 21st century learning curriculum yet. So some school they pilot the new program, some they pilot other program. Um, but in the way, in a way that uh, pursuing the STEM subject. So I think it really uh, how the government and the people themselves, the teacher and the student, uh, try to keep up with the, the trend, especially the news about the uh, technology and the STEM evo evolution, and then they can uh, adapt uh, fast enough. Uh, I mean, as fast as the policy uh, maker uh, can see. Otherwise, if they can just if, if they just wait for the policy maker to direct or to guide them, uh, I think it, it takes uh, more time and the speed is not fast enough.